And the National Institutes of Health says it's launching early stage trials of a vaccine to prevent the Ebola virus. The epidemic in West Africa has health experts and governments scrambling to prevent more people from becoming infected. VOA's Sladika Hope reports. More than half of the 3,069 people reported to have contracted Ebola so far in Liberia, Sierra Leone, Guinea and Nigeria have died. Some experts say the number of cases is probably higher. From the partial information we have, mm -hmm. uh, we have a strong suspicion that there are at least four times more cases mm -hmm. than those that are recorded in the most affected areas. The Liberian government has ordered some areas under quarantine, but the outbreak has reached the capital Monrovia, where health workers say the situation is catastrophic. The healthcare system ha has more or less broken down. Hospitals are closed, uh, clinics uh, are closed, some of them have reopened, uh, but the staff is afraid to go back because they, uh, they're afraid to get the disease. There has been too many healthcare workers who died. Some countries have closed their borders to travel from the most affected countries. Ghanaian President John Dramani Mahama criticized such measures Thursday. Ebola has stigmatized our countries and we have no choice but to combine our resources and efforts to defeat it. Currently in the sub-region, Ebola is officially recorded in four countries. And yet the entire West African community of 15 nations, and even Africa as a whole of 54 nations, has been stigmatized with the disease. Medical experts say that closing the borders is actually threatening efforts to fight the disease. Bans on travel and trade and the rest will not stop this virus, absolutely not. In fact, you are more likely to compromise the ability to respond, to get more and more disease, more and more people trying to move. You're going to get yourself in trouble. It's a self-defeating strategy to ban travel. That's not the problem. People with Ebola are symptomatic. You can actually exit screen, put thong exit screening in place, etc., and then be able to substantively reduce that risk. The World Health Organization on Thursday said it needs $490 million for a six-month campaign to fight the virus, the plan they call the Ebola Roadmap. The U.S. National Institutes of Health also announced an experimental Ebola vaccine will be tested on humans beginning next week. Zlatica Hope, VOA News, Washington.